Well, a very good morning on this fabulous, uh, calm after the storm type of morning. It's beautiful in the Costa del Cradley, as I like to call it. Uh, don't forget, drop me a liking down below. I'd appreciate that before we kick off. Uh, it helps me greatly. Drop me a comment in, thumbs up, smiley face. Let me know you're doing okay today. Of course, that helps me greatly. And if you, of course, if you want me to continue doing these videos and you like them, just drop me a liking down below. If you don't like me, if you don't like these videos and don't want me to continue doing them, I'd question why you're watching it in the first place. So, 14 stone in a day. Now, if you've ever seen Peter Kay's Slimming World sketch, it is one of the funniest things you're ever likely to see um, because it's true. Uh, some of the stuff he says is absolutely cock on and being a sort of weight loss veteran as it were I've heard all these stories before um, about some of the strange things that people do to try and lose weight like you know howl at the harvest moon or drink their own piss and stuff like that so um, yeah Peter Kay's uh, Slim World Sketch and one of the things he says in that is about this detox diet that somebody does is they lose 14 stone in a day um, as a bit of a, a sort of a tongue-in-cheek type of thing uh, and it's quite amusing now <laughs> this one day thing is actually quite interesting because i've um myself uh, lost a load of weight as you know five stone kept it off nearly six stone hopefully uh, that's the goal to try and break the uh, six stone loss since 2005 mark um and i've worked with a lot of people who've done it as well i've also met and worked with a lot of people who have lost significant weight seven eight stones and put it all back on again and more in a lot of cases and in fact they reckon that about half of people that lose significant weight probably two stone plus put more back on uh, when they put the weight back on so it's actually quite a bad uh, statistic and I, I do believe it from my experience of working with people and seeing people so how does this happen well the good news i suppose is you don't need to get on a leather couch you don't need you know any sort of psychiatric treatment or anything like that uh, hopefully not anyway and if you do then get it um the, the real key to this is is one day because people put three four five stone on because of one bad day and you might say oh no 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 it's not as simple as that it is because one bad day leads to a week leads to a month leads to a year leads to five years leads to ten years yeah and if you put on you know five pound a year yeah for ten years well, you're 50 pound overweight yeah which is a lot yeah if you put on a pound a month yeah that's 12 pound a year three years you're 36 pound heavier okay which is uh what's that 36 pound heavier is two and a half stone heavier than you are now and that's noticeable yeah but that starts on one bad day not a bad not it doesn't happen you know it happens because of one bad day and the, what we teach our guys when they come into my program, the women that come into my program, is what I try and teach them is that you have to work off the law of averages. You have to expect that not every day is going to be brilliant. I'm seeing a lot of these posts at the moment. People have got too much time on their hands about shine like a star and all this motivational claptrap that doesn't mean anything. It's not a strategy. It doesn't mean anything. Life's going to kick you in the pants sometimes. You're going to have shit days. You're going to have bad days. Yeah. And that's okay. The difference is how you react to that one bad day. Because people put four or five stone on because of a bad day. That bad day comes a bad week. That bad week comes a bad month. That bad month becomes a bad year. That bad year becomes a bad five years. One day. And the trick is to understand the law of averages and have a system and a strategy to be able to manage the bad days and manage the good days and accept that they're both going to happen. You don't need to shine like a star. You don't need to run through walls. You don't need to twinkle. You don't need to you know, be the best version of you. You need to understand that life involves ups and downs. Eating healthy, exercise, involves ups and downs. And the key, the absolute key is a strategy, yeah, and a program and a system, especially if you're looking to change, that's gonna help you to manage those times. Not be perfect, yeah, because that's not, that's not real life. Real life is about managing the ups and downs with a clear strategy so you can get back to what you were doing before. And that's what we do, because that's what 15 years of experience gives you. That's what somebody who's lost weight and kept it off gives you. Not some fad, not some bandwagon, the actual experience of knowing that that's how it works. So if you do want our help, we're happy to help you. 
Of course, we need to have a chat first. So if you're a woman aged between 30 and 50 based in the Birmingham area and you want to have a chat about our um, women's only weight loss group fitness program, just comment with 28 days down below uh, or drop me a message via the page and I'll be happy to have a chat to you to see if and how we can help and if you're a good fit. If not, that's fine. Don't forget, drop me a liking down below. I'd appreciate that. Any thoughts in the comments are always welcome. A share would be fantastic. And if there's anybody you know that would benefit from this, please feel free to tag them in below. Let's have a good day.